Okay, here's the challenge. How do you build this model with one sketch? Coming up. Hey everyone, Tyler Beck with Tech and Espresso. Today we're gonna to be covering the challenge of how to do this model with one sketch. You can do as many features as you want, and I'm not getting crazy with sculpt or anything like that, but how do you do one sketch, some features, and get this thing finished? Here we go. And hey, if this video is helpful, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and if you don't like it, let me know why. Okay, starting a new design, what I'm gonna do, it's one part, so I'm not gonna start a new component, don't have to. I'm gonna start a sketch on the front plane. And obviously this is the really important part because we only get one sketch. Okay, so I don't really have some dimensions that I have to follow. So we're gonna just kind of sketch this thing out kind of roughly. Okay, now let's start adding some constraints. First thing, this should be horizontal. That definitely should be vertical. Maybe we know this angle, right? So if that's 145, or 130. Next, we're gonna make these tangent. Give this a radius. That'll be an angle of 145. I want that to be horizontal. This is 15. Okay, we're almost to the important part here. We're gonna start adding some other sketch things. So this is gonna be the base, and then we're gonna have the middle tabs, right? So um, if we want it to be even, we can make that 45. We'll delete that and maybe do this one at 45. Good enough. All right, what else are we missing for this to be fully defined? And it'll start to make sense in a second. If we dimension maybe the distance from that center point over. Okay, when I drag the blue points and see what stretches and moves, it starts to kind of make sense of what's happening. So let's dimension the full dimension. We'll make this 25. Okay, almost there, almost fully defined. And that angle or that height? Yeah, an angle. Okay, so let's do an angle coming off of this, 30. All right, we're finally fully defined. Now for the fun part, let's start extruding it. Okay, so I'm gonna extrude this and we're gonna extrude the entire thing and we'll do about maybe five millimeters. And now we're gonna extrude again, this time doing the plate. And that's a little tall than maybe what I wanted, but let's do negative 20. And we can come back and edit that sketch if that just doesn't quite look right. So when I dragged this in, it's at 19. Let's make it 10. There we go. I love that it all updates because it's fully defined, so it's behaving as it should. And again, we're gonna do another extrude, and sometimes this gets tricky to get that sketch to highlight. So you can hide the bodies. I'm gonna do these two tabs, and then I gotta bring them back so we can see it. And we're not doing a new body, we're joining, and we're coming out, you know, another 10 millimeters or whatever, okay? Great, so there it is. We've got kind of the whole thing. I'll hide the sketch for a minute. That's our one sketch. We almost got the whole thing done with one sketch and a few extrudes, right? Pretty cool. And it is one body. Now, the, few, the other things that if you look back um, at my original, I did forget to sketch maybe a circle here. We could have done that in the original sketch. And then in the first feature, we could have excluded that hole. Thing we want to do, we're going to fill it this edge. Since I had that kind of that rounded, um, if you remember, there's that rounded edge. So let's now add the rounded edge. We'll fill it that. 
All right, so next, before we do the holes, let's round off these bosses, and I can do that with fillets. I think they all can match, so if I pick all four and then bring them in, looks pretty good, okay? So now let's add a hole, search for hole. I'm gonna drag this in, and I'm going to just get it down to 10 millimeter, and then I'm gonna locate it, and this is pretty sweet. Go to reference, select the round edge, it goes to the center, or should. Oh, it snapped to a point, let's try again. How about if we go to reference, round edge, there we go, it centers to the center point of that arc, pretty cool. And then we'll right click and do a repeat and just drop it somewhere on the randomly, right? And get it to 10 millimeters, then reference. And I don't want it snapping to anything. So I move it away and now it snaps to the center point and I want it at 10. Awesome. One sketch and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different features to create, you know, a somewhat complex part. Hey, so if you're looking for some more beginner tutorials, check this one out. And if you haven't seen this other video, YouTube says it's probably the best one for you. So check that out. Hey, thanks for watching.